Good evening, YouTube. Hardball Crazy here coming to the video. Uh, very exciting video. You can probably tell by the title. I captured one of my white whales in my card collecting. Been looking for it for a long time. Had an eBay search for it for the longest time. And um, probably the most, my number one card on my, my, on my want list. Nothing super expensive, but I was willing to, I was expecting to pay about um, five times at least, probably more than. But I actually ended up paying for it. Just got it back to my local car shop and he had it there. Uh, part of the set. And I'll explain that first. But uh, my one card mail day. Um, card from my Miggy collection. Do Tops Holiday. Since I cannot find it at, uh, in the retail at all. Thanks hoarders and retail hoarders and flippers and flipper wannabes. So I, I guess I'm just relegated to pick up a few singles on uh, the aftermarket. This is the Miguel Cabrera uh, Holiday. This is a short print with the candy cane bat. So that's one of my one card mail day today. Cool collection to my cool cards by collection. And I went to the car shop today. Kind of decided if I want to or not earlier in the day. I so said, what the hell? I did. And nothing in mind to pick or pick it up. Just see what they have any new. Sometimes I find some decent deals. Some cards just added to the collection, some holes in my collection, nothing spectacular. So usually the first thing I do is I walk in there, they have a, a dollar box. You get buy them for a dollar a piece or six for five. So I started just pulling some cards I didn't have added to the collection. So I pulled some Jeters, 2000 SPX, 1988 Sports Illustrated. Yankee Legacy, this is going to be totally for um, trade or sell. I'm not a big fan of this thing, this set, but uh, this is basically for resale. Uh, 2007 Tops Walmart insert. It's got the 91 Stadium Club design. No ovation card of Jeter. I love the, the baseball feel to it. Little Cal Ripkins. Here's a Cal Ripken uh, 3D Tops 3D or D3, whatever it's called, or Kellogg's looking type of set. Kind of cool. Old 97 Tops Gallery. And a Fleer All Star card of them. Yeah, I ended up getting 12 cards, so I ended up getting 12 cards for $10, so basically like 80 cents, 85 cents per card I got out of these four. Oh, Barry Bonds Fusion Gallery card. A couple of Thunderclap inserts from Ultras from the late 90s. Piazza. Bagwell. And uh, this is totally for uh, trade beta resale. It's a new, uh, new gallery, Eddie Murray insert. Number out of 250. Don't, don't intention to have it in my collection, but somebody needs it, wants it. Probably sell on eBay or whatnot for like couple bucks more than I paid for it, I'd be happy. Went to the 10 cent box and uh, picked up a few cards, nothing spectacular. Probably it's 10 cents, an old Frank Thomas Ultra, 92 Ultra. 2001 Stadium Clubs, Tomei. Love the imagery on these. It's got an extra shine to them. They got the name plate. Ricky Henderson, one of my favorite images and Hall of Famers. Adrian Beltry, don't see that image very often on a card. Nice level of that shine where the nameplate's at. That's the base card shine. Pudge Rodriguez with a cracked bat. And I 2001 Donruss um, base cards. I love this. I just like the design of this set. Pedro and Clemens. Nothing spectacular, but a nice little cards in collection. Went to the 25 cent bin. We got these for 25 cents. Another Derek Jeter. 2003 Bazooka. Bo Jackson, Topps Gold card. And uh, I don't think I've ever seen these cards before. Fleer Proctor, Fleer Score, Proctor and Gamble All-Star set. Griffey and Ripken. I guess you send cards in. Uh, UPCs, you get this All-Star set back. Cards ain't, you know, quite plentiful, but I've never seen them before. Kind of a cool set. Then I was over there going through cards. 
texted a buddy of mine. He was looking for some stobs. Says, pick up stobs I saw in the 10 cent box. So I picked up some right, rusty stobs for him. Little biggie. So I went back there, sifting through those 10 cent box again. Tried to find the stobs I once saw. I found this doozy. I never heard of him. It was Roberto Campos. He was the Tigers' top international signee. Um, 2019 um, top 10 prospect right now. His car is just now coming out of the market. Intrigued by him because there's not a lot of information about him, but the Tigers kind of kept him in secrecy, quarantine for the rest of the media and teams to get him signed. He's out of Cuba. And. Um, and uh, not the greatest looking card, but I just found this random, found him in the 10 cent box and stuff. So I don't think they know who the car shop knew who it was. So he just bunch of, threw him a bunch of, you know, open pack stars and stuff. And so I forgot that. So that was, that was, that was my purchase of the day. And as I was checking out, then all of a sudden the front register and I see some old Lansing lug nut sets. And um, if you don't, that's where I live in Lansing. And we have a minor league team, and there's a one card in that old, older set, like three or four older sets. So I start floating back behind them to find the years of them. And boom, I found it. Open the box. Boom, I found the card I want. So I bought the complete set. This was on top. Lansing Lux is the manager, Brian Polberg. I can vaguely remember him. This is the 1996 set, the first year of the Lansing Lug Nuts, back when the Kansas City Royals affiliate. So I opened up the box, opened up the set. I guess I did pay five bucks for it, which is fine. I was, I was expecting to pay five times or more for it. And, um, yep, the card I want is in there. And boom, here it is. Carlos Beltran, Lancey Lugnuts card. I know he's probably out of favor of all collectors with the Houston Astros thing. But uh, he's by far the greatest player to play through Lansing in his career and and I've uh, been looking for this card forever yeah I've soured a little bit lately because of the scandal in Houston but uh, uh, this card has been on my want list forever so I had to get it for five bucks and um, he didn't play very long in Lansing he didn't have great stats but of the, of the former Lansing lug nuts who made it to the major leagues he had the best resume uh, of all, borderline Hall of Famer, but I don't think his Hall of Fame candidacy is going to be uh, improved, any prior to the scandal. He was probably borderline prior, and after that, I don't think he's going to get any time soon. But uh, he's probably the best player to ever come out of Lansing, play here. Uh, others include Carlos Zambrano, might be the second best. Uh, we'll wait and see what Vladimir Guerrero, Judy, and Bo Bichette do. Uh, they might surpass both of them. Who knows? I hope, though. It means that they had great careers. But uh, this is my number one card on my want list, my big white whale. So I can now delete my eBay save search for this card and keep popping up some Carlos Beltran lug nut bobbleheads. But that's my very happy uh, card day uh, video for the day. Uh, hope you all have a great night, and thank you for watching.